four. Asylum Springs on top as uh, Madison Lasseter checks back in, a 5'4 senior, who reeled off several points in that last set from the service line. Nice job there by both teams to keep this thing alive. We're still going. Jackson with a set for Penn. And the Panthers win the point as uh, Jackson tried to send it back into play, and it hits the one of the pipes up there and falls in for Asylum Springs Point. They go up 7-4. There's an attack error on McKenna Thomas. Gives Mountain Home a point as number three, Riley Straka checks back in, the 5'3 sophomore. The left-hander, she gets ready to serve it. Double contact's going to be called this time on the Panthers. 7-6 now. Silom Springs lead as Straka gets ready to serve again. Set for Brown. Returned back by the Bombers. And Anna Grace Freeman with the kill. 6'2 junior wears number 33. And we're tied at seven apiece. Riley Straker set to serve again. The left-handed serve. Nice job by Straker there to save that one. And a lift called on Mountain Home. Eight to seven, Siloam Springs with the lead. Number 13, McKenna Thomas serves it up. And she has an ace. Five eight sophomore, McKenna Thomas. Timeout, Mountain Home as they're down nine to seven here in set four. The Arkansas Activities Association is one of 50 state organizations that belong to the National Federation of State High School Associations. This association formulates policy, game rules, and standards for inter-school competition. The schools of Arkansas have adopted these rules on eligibility, which correspond to those recommended by the National Federation. Asylum Springs up two sets to one, and they're up nine to seven here in set number four. McKenna Thomas, 5'8 sophomore, gets ready to serve for the Panthers, the three seed out of the 5'8 West. They defeated Sylvan Hills yesterday to get here. Reagan Brown attack is long. So 9-8 now to score as number 12. Rihanna Dodge, a 6'3 sophomore, checks in for the Bombers. And Leah Jackson, a 5'4 junior, will serve. And there's a kill for... Charlie Pierce, the 5'9 junior, again, she leads the Bombers in kills on the season with 262. 
And we're tied at nine apiece. And there's a block by Anna Grace Freeman that goes off the hands of the Panthers. Mountain home with a 10-9 lead back. And another block by Anna Grace Freeman. The 6'2 junior wears number 33. He's been a force at the net. And she was excited about that as they go up to 11 to 9. And there's a block by Rihanna Dodge, a 6'3 sophomore. Gives the Bombers a three point lead. 12 to 9. Leah Jackson with a serve. Nice play there by Blackman. This time, Charlie Pierce, her attack goes into the net. That cuts their lead to 2, 12-10. Reagan Brown set to serve, 5-9 senior. Good job by Anna Grace Freeman to keep the ball alive. This time, Ellie Lampton's attack goes long and hits the line, line judge. He took it like a trooper there. He was coming in hot. 13 to 10, Mountain Home with the lead. An error on J.L. Herod gives Mountain Home a 14 10 lead as. Coach Joe Ellen Wright calls a timeout here in set number four. Silo Springs leads two sets to one, but they're down 14 to 10 here in set four. Coverage of the 5A State Volleyball Tournament on Two Towns being brought to you by SSR Insulation, surrounding you in comfort, and by real estate agent J.C. Cox of New Door, a real estate brokerage. Mountain Home won a five-set thriller yesterday against Lakeside. Salem Springs defeated Sylvan Hills in straight sets to get here. The winner will advance to play in the semis tomorrow against Jonesboro at 1 p.m. Set to serve number 20, Elaine Blackman, the 5'2 junior. She leads this team in aces. That attack goes long, and it's a 15-10 bomber lead. Blackman with 36 aces on the season. She also leads in digs with 246. There's a block by Chloe Price, number four. 15 to 11, the bomber lead is number 22, Rachel Conrad, six foot junior checks back in. Good job from net there by the 5'8", senior Price. And there's a kill by Claudia Carter, the six foot junior from Mountain Home. It's a five point lead, 16 to 11 for the bombers as Charlie Pierce gets ready to serve. Nice job by Pierce there on the back row. And there's a kill for 
Tyra Penn, the six-foot senior for the Bombers. And it's a six-point Mountain Home lead. Mountain Home, eight points away from tying this thing up. Make that seven points away from tying it up as an ace for Charlie Pierce. 18 to 11, the Mountain Home lead. And their fans are enjoying it. Little floater on the serve this time. There's a block out of bounds off of the Bombers. 18 to 12, Mountain Home lead. Set to serve now for the Panthers. Number four, Chloe Price. Price leads the Panthers with 64 aces on the season. Nice job there by Kelsey Lewis to keep it alive. And there's a block by Claudia Carter to give the Bombers another point. And they go up 19 to 12 as Grace Beckham checks back in. The 5'5 junior will now go to the service line with a seven point lead. Free ball for the Panthers here. They set up their offense. And Lampton's attack goes long. And it's a 20 to 12 Mountain Home lead. Momentum has shifted to the team in blue. And Coach Joe Ellen Wright realizes that and calls a timeout. Following this match will be Russellville and Nettleton. Russellville, the four seed out of the west, will take on Nettleton, the three seed out of the east. That will be at 5 p.m. on Two Town. That game will also be broadcast on 95.3, the ticket. Russellville won in straight sets over Maumel, and Nettleton won in five sets over Benton. Grace Beckham with the serve, up 20 to 12. And there's a block by Claudia Carter. And it's 21 to 12 now. Mountain home with the lead here in set number four. Beckham with the serve. Free ball this time for the Panthers. Set it for Lampton. And Lampton just kind of pushes it over the net in a place where nobody can get to it. That cuts the bomber lead to 8, 21-13. Lampton will now step to the service line. The 5'11 senior gets ready to serve. And there's Claudia Carter. You can... You can since her starting to warm up a little bit as uh, she records a kill. The six-foot junior wears number 23. And it's 22-13 as she steps to the service line. The ball... The ball hits just about anything it can up there. It hits. They're going to replay this point, looks like. As the ball hit off of several pipes up there, and then it hit the uh, the backboard, and then the back of the, the go. So they're going to replay it. 22-13. Mountain Home with the lead. We're in set number four. Mountain Home is down two sets to one. Panthers win the point. It's 22-14 as number seven, Madison Lassiter, checks back in. The 5'4 senior will serve for the Panthers. They're down 22-14. Run and jump serve for Lassiter. And Mountain Home will set their offense. Number 13, McKenna Thomas, the 5'8 sophomore. 
records the point for the Panthers. And it's 22-15. Glasner again with a serve. And an ace for Lassner as uh, Pierce was unable to return it. 22-16 now in the Mountain Home League. Another serve by Lassner. There's a kill by Anna Grace Freeman, the 6'2 junior. 23-16 now, Mountain Home with the lead. As number three, Riley Straka checks in. She's going to serve the 5'3 sophomore. Will serve left-hander. by Straker there on the back row. The attack by Pierce goes into the net and it's 23-17. The Bombers with the lead. Number 13, McKenna Thomas, the sophomore, set to serve for the Panthers. There's a kill for Reagan Brown, and it's 23-18 now. Mountain home on top. Dale Herrick hits the ball into the net, and it's set point now for the Bombers, 24-18. Leah Jackson with the serve. There's Lampton with the kill. 24-19. Mountain home with the lead. And the senior, 5'9", senior Reagan Brown will serve. An ace for Brown. 24-20. And Coach Jill Days calls... A timeout. Her team with a 24-20 lead. The Arkansas Activity Association, which is sponsoring this 5A state volleyball tournament, is a voluntary nonprofit educational association of some 500 junior and senior public and private high schools of Arkansas. The regulations which guide these events are adopted by the schools themselves and determine the type of program they believe to be most desirable for high school youth. The rest of the action for today, Russellville versus Nettleton at 5 p.m. and Greenwood versus Paragool at 7 p.m. Both of those matches will be here live on Tube Town. Reagan Brown with the serve. Down 24-20. Nice play there by Elaine Blackman for the point. And... 25-20 win in set four to tie things up here at Don Riggs Gymnasium at Jonesboro High School in the 5A State Volleyball Tournament. We'll be back in two minutes with the fifth and final set between South Home Springs and Mountain Home. Welcome to New Door, an agency revolutionizing real estate, where when the best in the real estate sales industry and the best in real estate education join forces, you get one of the most dynamic and educated real estate companies in Arkansas. Here at New Door, we endeavor to find the best homes for your needs. Real estate isn't something we do. It's who we are and what we live. We are New Door, and we are ready to welcome you home. Contact J.C. Cox at 870-761-1798. It begins with a click. And no matter where you are, 
you have countless choices at your fingertips. On the road, on your break, even in your own backyard. A world of entertainment is just a click away. Simply go to RitterCommunications.com slash TV Everywhere to get started. Ritter Communications, connecting you to everything that matters. Dedicated home phone can quickly pinpoint your address for emergency personnel. Cell phones can't. Keep your loved ones safe for less than 60 cents a day with a home phone from Ritter. Call today or go to RitterCommunications.com. Welcome back to Don Riggs Gymnasium at Jonesboro High School for the 5A State Volleyball Tournament here on Town. We have an exciting one here as uh, Asylum Springs and Mountain Home have battled through four sets. They're tied at two apiece here going into the fifth and final set. The winner of this would advance to the semifinals tomorrow at 1 p.m. and take on the 30-3 and three Jonesboro Hurricane. Asylum Springs won the first two sets, 25-19 and 25-15. Mountain Home battled back to win sets three and four by the score of 25-20 in both of those. Asylum Springs will start out this fifth set as Reagan Brown, the 5'9 senior, wears number 16, will begin the set from the service line. Nice job by Mountain Home to keep that alive. And there's Ellie Lanton with another kill. Salem Springs scores first here in this fifth set. Reagan Brown back to the service line. And there's a kill for Charlie Pierce. We're tied at one apiece. Number three, Mackenzie Cook checks in, 5'7", senior for the Panthers. And number 20, Elaine Blackman, 5'2", junior, will serve for the Bombers. Her serve goes into the net. She just didn't hit that ball right. As she knew it as soon as it left her hand. 2-1 to one now, the Panthers with the lead. Kelsey Lewis now serving, 5'5", five, five, senior, And there's a kill for Claudia Carter, six-foot junior. Checking in now for the Bombers, number four, Kyra Penn, a six-foot senior. And we're tied at two apiece here in set five. This time, Lampton has kind of finessed it over the net, and it goes off the hands of the Bombers. And it's a 3-2, Siloam Springs lead. Set to serve, number four, Chloe Price. She leads the Panthers in aces. Jackson, Leah Jackson, unable to get the ball over the net. And it's a 4-2 Panther lead. Price set to serve again. Jump serve and hits the line, an ace for Chloe Price. She's one of the captains of this Salem Springs team. And it gives her squad a three-point lead in set five. Five to two is the score. 
And Price will serve it again. And another ace for Price as she hit it right in the middle of all the Bomber players. And Coach Jill Daves calls a timeout to try to settle down her team. Coverage of the 5A State Volleyball Tournament on Two Towns being brought to you by SSR Insulation, surrounding you in comfort, and by real estate agent J.C. Cox of New Door, a real estate brokerage. In the 7 p.m. quarterfinal tonight, the one seed out of the west, Greenwood, come in with a record of 24-5. and five. They'll take on the two seed out of the east, Paragool, with a 22-5 and five record. Greenwood defeated Parkview in straight sets yesterday, and Perigo defeated Lake Hamilton in straight sets. Here's Chloe Price with the serve. And the attack by Claudia Carter is long. They were pleading for a tip, but to no avail. And 7-2 now, the Panthers with the lead. Another Panther point as the block goes out of bounds. And it's 8-2. And Coach Jill Dames calls her second timeout here in this fifth set. The winner of this will advance to the semis tomorrow to take on Jonesboro at 1 o'clock. And getting ready to play after this will be Russellville and Nettleton. Russellville has a 14-14-2 record and Nettleton with a 23-8-1 record. That match will be brought to you by Two Town. Brad Bobo be calling that game. Chloe Price with another ace. It's 9-2 now. Siloam Springs on top. Price of 5'8 senior. Where's number four? A little floater on the serve this time. And we're going to have double contact called against the Bombers. And that gives Siloam Springs a 10 to 2 lead here in this fifth and final set. Boy Price been on the roll. Her serve hits the top of the net. Falls in play. Lampton with the attack, but it's blocked. And there's a kill for number 12, Rihanna Dodge, a 6'3 sophomore for the Bombers. And number 13, Grace Beckham, a 5'5 junior, checks in. And she'll step to the service line. She's served it well so far in this match. Her team's down 10 to 3 here in this fifth set. Beckham with the serve. There's a kill for number 13, McKenna Thomas, the 5'8 sophomore. That gives the Panthers an 11-3 lead. And senior Ellie Lampton set to serve. Four points away from a victory. There's a kill for Claudia Carter, six-foot junior. And she will step up to the service line, down 11 to 4. Nice job by Carter there to dig that one out. Ball goes out of bounds off of Tyra Penn. And it's a 12-4 Panther lead. As number 7, 5'4", senior Madison Lassiter checks in. She'll serve for Siloam Springs. Run and jump serve for Lassiter.
Ball goes out of bounds off the block of Anna Grace Freeman. And it's a 13-4 Panther lead. Blaster with the jump serve. And a Grace Freeman with the attack, but it goes long. They're asking the officials. And they asked the officials about a tip, and the, uh, the judge on this side agreed with them, said it was tipped at the net. And so Mountain Home awarded the point, and it's 13-5. to Siloam Springs with the lead. Riley Straker checks in, the 5'3 sophomore, left-hander, and she's going to serve for the Bombers. Serves it deep, handled by Lewis. There's a block by Anna Grace Freeman, the 6'2 junior. It's a 13-6 Panther lead, and Straker will serve again. Nice play by Blackman to keep that one alive for the Bombers. There's a ball that almost went into the uh, basketball goal, and it's going to be replayed. So the official gives the double thumbs up. We'll replay the point. It's 13 to 6 right now. The Panthers on top. Ball looked like it was going out of bounds, and Straka hit it, but it went up into the pipes and then came back down, almost went into the net for the basketball goal, really. Nice play by Kelsey Lewis there on the back row. Free ball for the Panthers. There's a kill for number 13, McKenna Thomas, the sophomore. And it's match point for the Panthers. 14 to 6. Siloam Springs lead. And Thomas with the serve. And that's going to do it. 15 to 6, the final here in set number five. And Siloam Springs wins three sets to two. They'll advance to play Jonesboro tomorrow at 1 p.m. Siloam Springs won set one 25 19. They won set two 25 15. Mountain Home won set three 25 20. And also set four 25 20 before Siloam Springs. Pulls away in set five with a 15 to six victory. That's going to do it here for match number 10 at Don Riggs Gymnasium, Jonesboro High School here in the 5A State Volleyball Tournament brought to you by Two Town. Appreciate you watching and uh, good luck to the teams the rest of the way. Brad Bobo will be with you at 5 p.m. with Russellville and Nettleton here on Two Town.